What's up everybody? Main Fly Guys here with another tutorial. Today we are going to be tying the Brian Rosa Striper Eel. These flies are sick. Developed by Captain Brian Rosa of Origin Outfitters. He showed me this pattern and we have caught many, many, many 40 inch stripers on this fly at night. So if you're looking for a good nighttime pattern, this is it. To start, this is a five odd hook. You can you can go bigger if you want, um, but this is a five odd uh, B10S Gamakatsu. And to start, we're adding just a little spot of dubbing at the tail. This is um, got a little bit of flash and you can kind of see it there. That's just to add a little bit of flash. But again, you fish, I fish this pattern only at night, exclusively at night. So, you know, it's like, does that little bit of flash matter? Probably not. Next, you're just going to take a little pencil of SF blend or anything black that has greater than nine inches in length, like something that can be, you know, six inches in length. This is SF blend, um, just that black, it's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay it down so that my fly is nine inches, maybe slightly under that, this one might be eight. And I'm gonna tie that in. Push down with the thumb just to make it nice and even there. And then I have these rats, as I call them left, I'm just gonna flip these back over, push them down, sink those in and boom we have our tail section All right we have our tail section there we go funny story I already made this video but I was wearing a black shirt <laughs> how dumb was that all right sometimes if you're like really picky and you don't like this little tuft up here you can kind of comb it in um, together and it will make it a little bit better but it doesn't matter next this is really the important piece, is having long hackle feathers. So you need hackle feathers that are eight, nine inches in length. Um, I just dyed these, I just, just made them. This is a grizzly hackle, you can kind of see it there. But I just dyed it black. Thin and long, you're gonna put three on here. We think, you know, because we fish this pattern quite a bit now, we think this is the key to the success of this pattern. Because when this fly is just sitting, right, when you're not stripping and it's dark out, right, the fish obviously can't see, but what they can see or what they can do is feel. They can feel the movement of this fly because these hackle feathers never stop moving. They're always, always, always moving. And so that movement, we think, adds to the success of the fly. Without these hackle feathers, we're not sure this fly would be super, super great. Uh, maybe it would, but with the hackle feathers, it is for sure a winner. Okay, so I have my three hackle feathers in there. Uh, and again, you can already tell how eel-like this body is, right? That's, that's what we're trying to, trying to imitate. So then I'm going to come and I'm going to do three bucktail tie-ins. The first one is important because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, they got to be long strands. They got to be like four, four and a half inch strands because they're going to add support to the this material back here so that it can't foul. So it's going to be like a cone of support. So what I'm going to do is do a 360 degree wrap, cinch it in, get everything straightened out. I don't want um, these fibers to be super bulky, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently, not tightly, but just gently go back. Not a lot of pressure, do you see how they calm down there? Now it's more eel-like, okay. Great. And again, I'm, here's the thing. If you've never fished at night, one, you absolutely must go. Two, 
it's horrifying. It's absolutely terrifying because you're whipping around this absolutely massive fly and you can't see anything. So I only do three tines of bucktail. And that's what Brian kind of does as well. And we, we both do it because you can, it's very, very easy to make a pattern too heavy. It's very, very easy to do that. And when that happens, it's miserable. You can't cast at night, it's no good. You're not gonna catch fish. It's tough to get because you need to cast pretty far at night. It definitely, I mean, you don't need to, but it definitely helps to. Boom. I'm gonna find the tips here. So I'll find my tips and I'll try to match them up with these tips. It doesn't need to be exactly but it should be somewhat close because I'm not really trying to make um, a shaped eel here. So I don't, you see how like this goes whoop, up and down. I don't really want that because that's not an eel. Eels don't do that, right? Eels are the same shape. So that's why I go back and do these lighter wraps out back here because it keeps it to that nice eel shape, right? We wanna maintain that eel shape. Um, okay, so I'm gonna come in and trim these tips off because I'm gonna need some room to work with at the head here. Great. Clean this up for the purists out there. How's that look? Ooh, not good for the purists. There's a few stragglers. Again, it doesn't really matter. This pattern doesn't need to be super, super pretty. Although this one will end super pretty. But uh, because it's at night. And so you're really, it doesn't need to be perfect. Like this is, and it's actually turned out to be pretty good right now. So then for the head, I'm gonna come to the very tip of the deer tail. So somewhere up in this region here. Um, and I'm gonna do a reverse tie-in. This is the only, time that I do a bulky tie-in or something that has a little bit more um, pushing water to it because at night they can't really see. They can see a little bit, you know, but they can't see a whole lot. And so pushing water is a great way to get them to feel the fly, then go and seek it out. Right, they feel it, they'll seek it out. They can probably see it at the very end when they go to bite it. So I have my bullet, tie it in reverse tie style. I'm gonna come, ooh, ooh, you guys didn't tell me this was uneven. That looks better. Come in, push it back with my fancy tool, which is a pen, big pen. Okay, that looks pretty good. Come back. Look at that. That sucker's gonna push some water. See all that? See how dense it is? Right here, right in here. That is just gonna push a ton of water. Just pushing water. So I'll come out front. And you know, again, you can do that sort of gentle laying it if you don't if you want these fibers to lay down a little more i like this this sort of pattern here it's pretty much the same the whole way like it's nice uh nice sort of even trajectory the whole way from here you now have the option to add eyes eyes do not matter i want to make that very clear they do not matter not they don't matter okay I'm gonna put eyes on for a reason though, for a reason, and it's not because they look cool. It's because I wanna add a bunch of cement around the head to really make sure that this bulky tie-in point stays together if I catch 50 fish. So I'm gonna add a lot of cement to it, and therefore, I would like to add some eyes to it. Why not? If I'm gonna add a bunch of glue to it, why not add some eyes to it, right? So all I do is come in with a little drop of super glue on each side. After the super glue, I'll then use, don't 
move on me. Don't. I'll use uh, thick, some solar as thick or any thick solar as doesn't really matter. Whatever, whatever thick uh, UV you want. But I'll make a little bulbous head. Bulbous. That's a good word. Bulbous. Boom. Okay. Bulbous. Bulbasaur. That was my favorite Pokemon growing up when I was just a little kid. Bulbasaur. What a guy. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so now, just putting down a layer to get it started, I'm going to sort of shape my eyes with my fingers. just to make sure that I get them in the right place. So that's all I'm doing for eyes. I'm then gonna continue to add UV gel um, around the eyes just to make it nice and secure. I can also push it back into um, the deer hair if I want to shape the deer hair. You know, like if that's too bulky, then I can go like this, shape it a little bit. I'm not going to. Because I think it looks pretty great right now. Nice and bulky. And so that, that's really the pattern right there. That's it. That is the Brian Rosa eel right there. Super great pattern. Super easy to tie. Incredible movement with this very wispy back end. Just super, super fishy and just gets the job done. Super easy to tie too. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Uh, Mainflyguys.com. Check us out on Instagram for more fishy content. Uh, if you have a question, drop us a line. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.